Hello, welcome to this pop piano music lesson here at Liberty Park Music. My name is West and I'll be your instructor. Today we're going to look at an arrangement of the song Never Enough from the 2017 film The Greatest Showman. Now the song was written by the songwriting duo of Benj Pasek and Justin Paul. It's become a pretty recognizable favorite from that film's soundtrack. Now, learning this arrangement is going to give us the opportunity to look at one of the common challenges we face when trying to translate a vocal melody from a pop tune to the keyboard, namely complex rhythms. Oftentimes we find that rhythms that seem natural when sung with all the subtleties of the voice can feel a little awkward when adapted to the keyboard. So we're going to take a detailed look at how we can effectively practice these rhythms in preparation for getting them under our fingers. So let's give this piece a listen. So the first thing to take a look at in this piece is the form. This by the way is something you should try to do for any piece you work on, but this piece has a bit of a unique form, so we're going to look at it specifically. Now measures 1 through 4 are the introduction. Between 5 and 16 we have our one verse, and most pop pieces have more than one verse. This is kind of an introductory verse that only happens once, and then we move on to the chorus. Now that chorus is between 17 and 24, and this is where we're going to spend the bulk of our time during this lesson because of some of the rhythms that we have to look at throughout this section. Finally, between 25 and 32, we have our coda or our outro section. Um, and the whole piece kind of builds to that coda and plateaus there and then just kind of ends, which is similar to the way it works in the actual song. So like I said, a little bit of an unusual form. Now remember that this is an arranged piece, so the musical elements have been adapted from the original, but maybe somewhat different from the way you're hearing them. Um, one key difference you've probably noticed right out of the gate is the length, which has been shortened for the sake of the lesson, but is easy enough to lengthen um, by going back and repeating the chorus and coda at the big rehearsal letter A, which is at the beginning of the chorus, um, and this is kind of how the actual recorded song works. Now, like many pop songs, this piece is all about the melody, and this melody, while it does work well with the piano, has a couple of challenges for you to overcome to learn it. The biggest thing to focus on throughout this is going to be the rhythm. So there are some spots where I'm going to be taking you through the process of breaking down the rhythm and extracting it from the melody, which can be a very important skill when trying to translate vocal pop melodies to the keyboard. Um, finally, you'll notice that there are some chord symbols provided throughout. So if you know how to play chords without having to read the notes, you're welcome to try that. Though I recommend you keep things simple with your accompaniment until you've mastered the melody. Uh, the written left hand has been kept very deliberately simple to help with this, so you might just want to stick with what's written for now. <laughs> 